Bodybuilders are a whole different breed. They are like machines. I know the first thing that comes to your mind is probably steroids, the roid rage stuff. Yeah, they do take those, but it's not just about that. It's about the insane hard work and sticking to it day in and day out. I've seen bodybuilders chow down 15 eggs and piles of chicken breasts every single day, spacing it out into like six or seven meals. Imagine that, eating like clockwork every two hours, every day, for years. I'll be eating seven, eight times a day. And that's why it hurts. <laughs> now this is my main source of protein. This is fish. I eat every two hours. Every two hours, same old thing. Every two hours, same old thing. And here's the kicker. These folks put their muscle game above everything else. Doesn't matter if it's their job, their relationships, family, or friends. Muscles demand top priority. You've got to feed them or lose them. That's where the real struggle comes in. You can hit the gym, sweat it out for a couple of hours and call it a day. But the real grind starts in the kitchen. It's a full-time job where you're munching on something every few hours, every single day, no breaks. see folks at the gym all the time, right? But some just don't seem to change no matter how many years they've been at it. You know why? It's the food. Without the right diet, progress hits a roadblock. Here's the deal. You can transform your body with what you eat alone, even without lifting weights. But hitting the weights regularly without nailing your diet won't get you far. If you know maintenance calories that keep your body running and you eat less than that, you'll start burning fat. But if you eat more, you'll put on weight. And don't forget, the secondary factor is of course physical training building up the muscle tissue. Part of the job is eating. You gotta make time to eat. People like to make excuses. Stop making excuses and make your fucking food. Chicken, chicken. So we've got chicken ready in the freezer. And I'll portion that. Yep, and meal two to go, chickens. So the 250 beef, 150 rice, 250 turkey, 150 rice. If your goal is to bulk up those muscles, get ready for some serious stuff. You've got to have a strong mindset, follow a plan, and stick to a specific diet. This isn't a one-off thing, it's a daily grind. And for folks really into bodybuilding, eating isn't just about enjoying the taste, it's more about fueling your body for a purpose. So, saying no to certain tempting foods becomes part of the deal. <laughs> a lot of sacrifices, man, when I put in hard work.
time we're kind of forcing, trying to force as much food in as much as possible. So, because it just takes so much more calories for me to actually put on weight because I can eat as much as possible. My body seems to adapt to it quite quickly. And, you know, each time we have to kind of raise calories each meal. So each week just kind of compensate for that. When we're talking about eating, we're really talking about getting a good amount of protein and carbs. You aim to eat every two to three hours like clockwork throughout the day. It might sound tough, but with some practice, you can totally pull it off. It's all about training your mind. When you sit down to eat, you gotta really be in the zone. It's all about the mindset. Control your fucking mind. You can dictate a lot more what happens. Oh yeah. That was fucking awesome. If you're seriously committed to this, all those excuses like, I'm too full, I'm not hungry now, this is not tasty, all of that goes out the window. When you're super determined, you find a way around those hurdles. It's all about making things happen when you want something badly enough. That's the bottom line. It's about deciding just how much you really want it. Yeah, every day I usually leave the house at the same time. Every day it's the same food for the first two meals. A lot of times, just different portions. 